Hello, and welcome to the Virginia DOT Balanced Mixed Design Just-in-Time Training. My name is Johnny Habush. I'm a research scientist at VTRC. In this segment, we will be discussing the performance test selected to assess the durability of asphalt mixtures, the Cantabro Mass Loss Test. This test is performed in accordance with ASHTO TP108, standard method of test for determining the abrasion loss of asphalt mixture specimen. In summary, a single specimen of compacted asphalt mixture is placed within the drum of a Los Angeles abrasion machine without the charge of steel spheres. The specimen is subjected to a total of 300 revolutions within the Los Angeles abrasion drum. At the conclusion of the test, the percent material loss referred to as Cantabro mass loss is determined based on the original mass of the specimen. This test method is used to indirectly assess the cohesion, bonding, and effects of traffic abrasion on asphalt mixtures. The apparatus needed to perform the Cantabro mass loss tests are Los Angeles abrasion machine as specified in ASHTO T96, a chamber large enough to hold the Los Angeles machine with the ambient temperature controllable to a maximum margin of error of plus or minus one Celsius degree from the specified test temperature. Thermometers measuring ambient temperature placed in the proximity of the Los Angeles machine. Weighing device with a sufficient capacity be readable to 0.1% of the sample mass or better and conform to the requirement of ash to m 231 an oven capable of maintaining the appropriate temperature for drying specimens to a constant mass. Test specimen might be either laboratory compacted asphalt mixture specimen or sample from asphalt pavements, for example, cores. The compacted specimens will have a diameter of 150 plus or minus two millimeter and a height of 115 plus or minus five millimeter. Laboratory produced specimen. We need to condition loose mixture for two hours at the design compaction temperature prior to compacting. For field produced specimen, we need to minimize any cooling, bring specimen to the compaction temperature and compact immediately. For laboratory compacted specimen, we need a minimum of three specimen with the gyratory effort as specified by the mixed design. The following segment presents a step-by-step -step how to perform the Cantabro mass loss test procedure. Step one, dry the specimen to a constant mass at a temperature of 52 plus or minus three Celsius degree. Step two, Remove the specimen from the oven and cool the specimen to the test temperature of 25 plus or minus one Celsius degrees. The specimen shall remain at the test temperature for at least four hours. Step three, determine the mass of the specimen and record the value as W1. Step four, Place the specimen inside the Los Angeles abrasion machine drum without the charge of steel spheres. Step five, turn the drum at 30 to 33 revolutions per minute for a total of 300 revolutions.
Step six, after 300 revolutions are complete, remove the specimen from the drum. Step seven, clean the specimen lightly with a cloth to remove particles that are loose on the outside of the specimen. Step eight, determine the mass of the specimen and record the value as W2. Calculation of results. The percent mass loss is then calculated as the ratio of the difference between the initial mass of the specimen labeled as W1 minus the final mass of the specimen labeled as W2 over the initial mass of the specimen labeled as W1. The entire ratio is multiplied by 100 and then the mass loss will have a unit of percentage. Once the test is conducted on three specimen and the percent mass loss are calculated for the three, the percent, the average percent mass loss of all tested specimen will then be calculated. Precision and bias. For precision, the research required to develop precision value has not been conducted yet, and it is on its way. For the bias, the research required to establish the bias of the method has not been conducted. Comparison to BMD spec threshold. The Cantabro mass loss BMD threshold in Virginia is recommended to be 7.5 percentage for surface mix with A and D designation. If the average percent mass loss is lower than 7.5%, that means the asphalt mixture will pass the BMD threshold for Cantabro or durability. If the average percent mass loss is greater than 7.5%, that means the asphalt mixture will fail the durability BMD threshold. Numerical example. For a given specimen, we have W1, which is the initial mass before testing of 5,229.6 grams, and W2, which is the weight of the specimen after testing of 4,699.4 grams. The percent mass loss is then calculated as W1 minus W2 over W1 times 100, which will lead to 10.1%. We perform the same on specimen two, and that will lead to a percent mass loss of 8.7%, and specimen three, which will lead to a percent mass loss of 10%. The average of percent mass loss for the three specimen is 9.6%. This average is greater than 7.5%, the threshold for BMD. That means this asphalt mixture will fail the BMD durability criterion. Also, we would recommend we calculate the standard deviation of the percent mass loss, in this case will be 0.78%, as well as the coefficient of variation, which is equal to 8.1%, and that's to monitor the variability of the test results. In this segment, we presented information related to the Cantabro mass loss tests performed according to ASH to TP108. If you have questions, please add them to the chat box or ask them during the Q&A session or email them to me at johnny.habouche at v.virginia.gov. Thank you.